You're watching Sacon Talks with Sacon Simbla. Hi, everyone. Hello, I'm Sekhan Simbla, and you're watching Sekhan Talks. Welcome to my channel. I hope that um, you came here for some good info because I got some for you. I'm going to go ahead and make a little cup of tea. That is my thing. I like to make tea. Check back on my Friday lives and you'll see me making plenty of tea. Sometimes I do smoothies. But today we are going to talk theater. In fact, we're going to talk about the transition. I'm going to let that steep. We're going to talk about the transition between theater and the big screen, theater, film, theater, TV, stage, television, live, camera, okay? We're going to talk about that transition today, okay? And I'm really excited to go ahead and dive into this topic. I have uh, been talking about a lot of things on my YouTube channel, and I very rarely actually talk about my career. So this is a little sneak peek into my career and what my lifestyle is like. So I just wanted to give you guys five pointers. I believe there'll be five, maybe six or seven, but don't sue me. Um, things that I did in order to help to transfer my career from the theater to the TV and film screen. Maybe by the time you see this video, maybe later this year, you will see that I am featured in the feature film, Respect About the Life of Aretha Franklin. And I had a wonderful time shooting that film. And I really believe that my theater training helped me to be really good in that type of environment. So. Let's get started. Okay. A lot of you theater kids may be watching this video. You probably heard that I was the first black Elphaba. Yes, I was the first woman of African descent to perform the role of Elphaba on Broadway. I was the Elphaba standby for about three years. I had a wonderful time. It was great. I've done lots of Broadway. Tony nomination, all that good stuff. So I really, really know what I'm talking about here. I know what I'm talking about when I say that us theater kids, we can be a little dramatic at times, myself included. I can be quite rambunctious, excited, excitable, vivacious. All of that is wonderful. You have to be yourself. Yes, be yourself. But this first piece of advice is to tone it down. Find the time to tone it down. There is a time and a place for everything. And when you are entering new environments and going into a space where people are working on the craft in a different way, you have to be really respectful of your environment. That means using your inside voice. That means toning it down, means using your inside voice. It means not wearing the big, huge hair, not always wearing the biggest earrings, unless that's your stick, you know what I mean? Uh, but being able to like, you know, just bring it down so that it can be, so that people will want to be just finding that mystery. That's what I would say. You want to be able to have a little mystery, have something about yourself that makes people want to get inside, makes them want to look inside. And when we show up as our big theatrical boisterous selves, sometimes for some people, it can be a little off-putting. And it makes people, you know, think twice about bringing you on to work with them if they feel like you're going to be like, ah! razzmatazz all the time. You know, everything is not about jazz hands and, you know, everything is just not about that, you guys. So I'm sure there's a lot of people that work in theater who know that, but I'm speaking to everybody across the spectrum, including my kids that are coming out of high school, um, coming out of middle school, going into high school, whatever it is that you're doing, learn how to tone it down. Number two, speaking of toning it down, I am going to do a little tone down on my look. Okay. You guys, I'm a girly girl. You like my lashes? You like my You like my lashes? I got my lashes. I got my earrings from Indonesia. I got my clip, my pink. I'm popping, right? Okay. For a theater audition, this full pink knit bodysuit. <laughs> it might work. And it might work for I mean it might. Oh, it might not. It might not, you guys. I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you. Sometimes the big hair, the big whatever, this is another part of the toning it down that we may have to do as theatrical people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this clip. Put that down. I'm going to change out these earrings. Put those down. 
And I'm gonna like really kind of make it a little more simple. I have my little, little jewelry box there. I have these little smaller earrings. You know, I don't want my earrings to steal the thunder at my TV film audition. At my TV film audition, I want it to be all about me. So I'm gonna just tone this on down. Honestly, if I didn't have more videos to do, I would probably wipe down this makeup a bit as well. Just, you know, just toning it down. Bringing a little bit of the hair off of my face. TV film, it's all about your face. It's all about you, right? It's not about your outfit. It's not about razzmatazz. It's all about you. They want to get to know you. They want to come inside, right? They want to learn who you are. So that was a part of my uh, number two, tone it down. I really should call it look good. That's what I should call number two. <laughs> That's a part of toning it down. The first time was more about uh, in behavior. So now that I've toned it down, I'm gonna have a little spot of tea, cause why not? Tea break. I'll put the tea and the honey in the description bar below. So moving on to number two. I don't care if you just got out of musical theater class 211, musical theater class 481, musical theater class 101, singing lessons. You may be having singing lessons. I don't care if you've done all of that. Get a coach, okay? Get yourself an acting teacher. Get somebody to help you to streamline your acting. I'm telling you this right now as a seasoned professional, okay? I'm no spring chicken. I'm telling you this right now. Get a coach, let somebody work with you, let somebody, the same amount of time and energy, and look, let me tell y'all, this is the truth right here, okay? The same amount of time and energy that you've spent ha, 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 with all the vocal lessons and the tap dance lessons and the kicking your, you know, all that same amount of time, you may just need that same amount of time in learning how to bring it down learning how to just act for the camera. Yeah, get a teacher, get a coach. So number three, be malleable. Oh man, you guys, I know what it's like to have an amazing um, team that you work with. You may have been in, you know, let me say this. This talk is not just for singers and musical theater people who want to get on TV and film. This talk is for dancers as well who want to transition into actors and this talk is for people who do theater who want to have an opportunity to be seen in a different light you know it's a bit about rebranding yourself in a way yeah yeah it's okay to call yourself a brand it's okay it's okay it's 2020 or whatever year it is when you're watching this video call yourself a brand brand yourself it's okay. So the next thing I wanna to say to you guys is be malleable. Be ready for change. You may have come from a program, uh, you may have gone to the finest school, uh, the finest university, you may have been a part of an amazing theater company, but when you get out of that environment, you may have even been in one big long Broadway show for a really long time, okay? When you come out of that group environment that you were a part of for so long, that you got so comfortable in, where everybody loved you and you were so comfortable and everybody knew your name, everybody cared about your mama, everything. Now, I say open yourself to the understanding that when you're going on to TV and film sets, everything is moving really, really fast. You may meet a lot of people that you don't know and you may not have time to get to know everybody. So you have to focus on what you need to do. Focus on you, focus on the work at hand. So be malleable, be okay with change. Inside the theater, you know, you're not shooting outside. So there's no rain to suddenly mess up your hair. Uh, inside the theater, the lights are set for you. Your props are in the same place. You know, you're not dealing with the same issues that, that evolve when you are on TV and film sets. So be malleable. Today, the exact day that I'm filming this, I did a live interview in which my internet went in and out so much that when I got off, I saved face, but when I got off, I got on my IG and I cried because I was just like, oh, you know, I was so stressed. But do you know what I did just before I got off? I was sure to sell my podcast. I was like, you guys, make sure you check out Sacon Talk. Look, the show must go on, right? So be malleable. 
be okay with continuing to move forward no matter what has happened with you that day. Be malleable. I mean, being malleable comes in a lot of different forms, you guys. I believe that my neighbors, I live in an apartment complex. I believe my neighbors over there are DJs. My neighbors over here, they just like to party. And sometimes I have to do voiceovers and videos and there's music and things happening. I just wait. Or I just push right on through because I have chosen to be malleable. Believe. That is the final thing I'm going to say today to you guys. Believe. You cannot make a transition without believing. Okay? You have to believe in yourself. And maybe that might take keeping your dreams of transitioning into something else. Maybe that might take keeping your dreams to yourself while you plant the seed and let the seed, let the roots sprout on that thing. Let it settle in before you start telling everybody. Make sure that you believe inside of yourself and work in silence. You know, sign up for your classes, study how to do like a makeover, figure out how to tone down your makeup or tone it up if you need to tone it up. Um, you know, figure out, you know, just move in silence and figure out how you can work your craft so that you can be good enough to be considered in an entirely different environment. Okay. I'm Saycon and you are watching Saycon Talks. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my tea and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,